In this video, we'll be talking about making a daguerreotype. So I've made daguerreotypes before with a artist called Brenton West. Brenton is a trained silversmith and he's trained me on two separate occasions to make daguerreotypes but I've not been able to have the equipment to continue making them. However, today I'm actually going to take the equipment home so that I continue making them for my Origin of Silver project. A daguerreotype is a 19th century type of photographic process. To make the daguerreotype, you get a piece of copper which is coated in silver and then you expose this to iodine gas. Then you expose this to light and develop it in the sunshine and then you put in the fix as usual. And this is called the Becquerel daguerreotype process. Historically, daguerreotypes would have been made with mercury. However, I'm not interested in using mercury at all because it's dangerous and it's also probably not very good for the environment. So what I'm going to do is just continue to use the Becquerel process. Iodine gas is a little bit dangerous. It can really affect the lungs. So today we'll be using a fuming cabinet. In previous times, I have been excited about the potential of just exposing the iodine gas outside, but it's not really a controlled environment and it made me a little bit nervous. I'll be taking the fuming cabinet home and I'll actually be able to continue practicing at home. I wouldn't recommend doing this at home without some kind of ventilation. Um, and if you have access to a fuming cupboard, that is preferable. So I'm making daguerreotypes for my Origin of Silver project which looks at how to recycle silver from photographic fixer. So in my previous video, I looked at how to reclaim silver from photographic fixer and put this onto a copper plate. Now I have some silver plated copper plates and I'm going to expose them to light. So the idea is that when I have recovered the silver and plated some copper with fix, I can then make a daguerreotype onto it. So that's the plan. And this is part of my Arts Council England funded project. So a big part of my project is that silver is born in supernova. This is the only way to make silver as it's a high energy process. It also means that any silver that has been formed into our planet is also very rare. So once we've mined all of the silver, we then can't get any more. So it's really important in that sense that we then recycle the silver. The daguerreotype in this way is actually potentially quite a sustainable process and I'll tell you a few reasons why. For example, if you don't like the image, you can just wipe off the image like condensation and then re-expose it to iodine and then re-expose it to light. So there's no metal wastage in that sense. It also uses a very small amount of water. So I'm probably going to be using filtered water to continue this process. Um, and you just need that for a little bit of fixing and a little bit of washing. Because you're working with small plates and a small amount of silver, then it's likely that you won't use very much fixer. And you see today we're using quite small plates. If we were using virgin silver all of the time, that would be unsustainable. But a lot of silver is actually recycled in this country. So that's one good thing about having silver plating done professionally, but I'm going to try even harder to make this more sustainable by using the silver from my photographic fixer and then using that to recoat the copper. So now I'm going to show you the footage from when I went to make daguerreotypes with Brenton West.
Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe, like, and also join my Patreon.